Confectioners from across the country will be in Springfield this week for a national convention. But as KY3's Michelle Sherwood reports, we've got our own version of Willy Wonka here seven days a week, and he's not your average candy connoisseur. You've seen him on KY3 News before as a defense attorney. We bring these beans in. But now Sean Askinosi is seeing, well, sweeter days. We crush the bean and the shells. He's recently uh, opened Askinosi Chocolate on Commercial Street. It's helping revitalize that part of town as well as his own life. I have this um, opportunity to pursue this and so I'm spending a lot more time doing this and I don't spend very much time practicing law right now. His chocolate looks like most you've seen, but it's different than others because of the way it's made. That's the nib. And then right here is the shell. Sean makes all of his chocolate straight from the bean, while most retailers just buy theirs. What we're doing is we're taking pure cane sugar, we're taking chocolate liquor, and we're taking cocoa butter. And now what we do is we put it back in that machine. Making chocolate is difficult and time consuming. This is what you don't want the chocolate to look like. This is bloom, mm -hmm. bad bloom. It's a 70 step process, in fact, that you can actually find on his website. But we'll show you the easiest. Try it. It's good. It's great. It's a very unique taste, and it's a strong taste. My dream is that there will be people around the country that really, really love the chocolate and just have to have it. But that it's not some chocolate that will be um, sought after by the masses of people. That could be difficult, as he's already sold his chocolate to retailers across the country after being open just a few months. But we know he's had a few years of experience persuading people. In Springfield, Michelle Sherwood, KY3 News. Now, tours are available at Askinosi Chocolate Tuesdays at 3, and there you can see the entire process of how chocolate is made.